and welcome to another purveyor of light photo quick tip. Uh, today we have a last of a series. We've been doing this all week long. Um, we were given the challenge to restore faded photos uh, using all kinds of applications. Uh, we started with Photoshop, we went to Lightroom, we went to Capture One, uh, and uh, we are now here at Apple Photos. Uh, and I'm not an Apple user photo, but I'm sure I'm going to be able to do the exact same restoration project with it. Uh, because a lot of people don't give Apple Photos credit. It's actually quite a powerful program. Okay, so let's jump right in. Okay, so we've got a picture from 1960 here. They obviously marked as the before. And we're going to go into the edit function here. So I select edit and it opens up with my editing menu selection. Okay, very similar to actually Lightroom. And um, I'm looking for particular tool options. Uh, color, black and white, there's a curves and there's a levels. So perfect, that's all I need. Okay, as long as I can go into individual channels, I'm golden, and which I can. Okay, so we look at this photo and we can see we are faded, lost of contrast. We can see we've lost data on the graph. So let's go into the channels red channel and we can see right from here to here we are missing data all right so let's bring in the black point and let's go to the next channel and do the exact same thing and the blue channel Let me check the red channel here. Okay. Bring that in. Okay. Let's do a little before and after. Okay. We did bring back some of the detail. Uh, I'm not quite satisfied at this point. So let's go ahead and, uh, bring in some contrast into this. And while we're here, we'll just do it on the curve as well. So I'm gonna plot a couple points on the graph and I'm gonna do a, a standard S curve, okay? Where we lower the shadows and raise the highlights. And let's see how that looks. Well, that's making a difference. And I'm noticing here that I'm starting to botch up, you know, block up in the shadows dark here. And I don't like that, so. Let's go ahead and come up here to the top of the adjustments. And I'm going to uh, just bring some of the shadows back. See if I lighten this up, the shadows become lighter. I'm just gonna unblock the shadows ever so slightly. And it's looking good. And I wanna bring, I still wanna bring a little more additional uh, contrast into it. And of course it's a, it's a happy medium between this and the black point. See what I like on the black point. Okay. That's not looking too bad. Let's see the before and after. Before and after. And I say that we did a pretty good job here. Uh, <coughs> again, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> we can't, uh, we can't bring back detail that was lost but we can only enhance the remaining data and that's what we're doing here so uh that's about as best we're going to get on this particular uh photo but all in all it's not bad i mean there's the before and there's the after now we saved this photo maybe it'll last another uh let's see 40 uh 60 years so there we go. How to restore faded photos using Apple Photos. It's actually a great little program. I'm, I'm actually impressed with what it can do. I'm looking here, like I said, I don't really use Apple Photos much, but uh, it's quite a little uh, powerful little program. And for most people, it's probably all they'll ever need. All right, till next week, you guys take care.